So we can add lots of different data sources in BuddyBase, data sources that exist for us already, be that through a REST API, a SQL relational database, or some other non-relational database like MongoDB, or, or maybe something like Airtable or Google Sheets. But BuddyBase also comes with an internal database that we can leverage for our applications. It's built on top of CouchDB and it's where all of our user tables are managed. So as we invite people to our application and we're not using an SSO, then this is where they're going to be managed. We can add additional tables to the BuddyBase internal DB in much the same way. So let's do that now. I'm going to add a new source, a BuddyBase DB, and I'll click continue. I'm going to call my table task. I can upload a CSV. Now this will accept the CSV and we'll try to look at each column and look at the data stored in each column and find the most suitable data type. And then it will set that up and import the data. For now, I'm just going to create the table as it is. I'm going to add a column and have a name. It's going to be a short name, but you can see I could use long form text. I could have options, multi-select, lots of other things I could have. I have a JSON object and auto column as the data gets added, it will try to keep that data type up to date. I'll have a complete, which is going to be a Boolean. And lastly, I want a responsible for. This is going to be the one person whose responsibility it is to make sure that this task is complete. So I'm going to set the type to relationship here. And I want this to be a relationship to the users table. And I want one user to be responsible for many tasks. So you can see we have many to many or one to many in either direction. Press complete. And we'll see how we're doing. Now I'm going to add a task of record video, record video. And who's responsible for that? Now, so the display field is the email address because they're a unique identifier. So I'll set that and press save row. And now we can see that the responsible person's over here. It's not complete and the name of the task. So I'll click into the users table and we'll see that in the task column, record video is there. So we can see that that data has been persisted in both and is visible in both places. Back in task, after the video has been created, we're going to want to edit the video. It's also going to be me, so I'll create that row. We see both the tasks are here, create video and record video. And back in users, they're also both here, we're create video and record video. So we can have those relationships set up. We can also add views. So let's add a view of um, incomplete tasks and create that view. And for this view in particular, we want to filter and we want to say where complete equals false. Both of our tasks are showing up there. So if I go back to task and now we've finished this video, I'm going to set record video to true. I'll save this row and see a tick here. If I look at my view of incomplete tasks, I now I see what I've got to do next. So I'm off to edit this video while well, you have a bit of explore with these tables.